I never know how to start videos whenever I do a collab with someone. <laughs> I just never know how to start it. I feel like you haven't collabed with anyone. I was looking at your channel and I was like, I oh don't my God. really. I, <laughs> I usually feel so just... honored. I'll pretend I'm Carrington today. <laughs> Okay, wait. Is the hair like my hair, or is it it's just supposed like to be like yours? Hair? Well, it's also Gerard. He had a he had a red hair episode. So when you did red hair, I was like, ooh, next time I see you, I'm gonna do my Gerard red. I love that. Wait, wait. You gotta see Tara's um shirt from last night. It's a Gerard shirt. So. <gasps> yeah, that's that's the look today. <laughs> oh wait, that's so sick. I told you I'm kind of like a poser. I really only like MCR, and then I have my own emo band. That's that so like, valid. But, like yeah. I I always have a fixate on one thing. Yeah, so yeah. I'll Although I do that. love um Vampire by Johnny Gilbert. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah he performed that last night, and it was really. <laughs> Awesome to hear. Sink your teeth right into me. Listen up, I love a good bargain. Finding good deals, that's one of the few ways left to make me smile. That's why I use SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the best way to buy tickets for concerts, sports, and events. They make it so easy to find the best deals. It's fast, simple, and saves you money. Every time I save a lot of money, I think about how many cheeseburgers I could buy with the money I save. It's always good to know that you're not overpaying. So every ticket is rated on a scale of one to 10. Green means you gotta steal. Red means maybe it's a pass. So in the way that SeatGeek works, it's on your side. So when I grabbed tickets myself, it wasn't only an awesome deal, but the process was so quick and easy. And the older I get, the more I just want things simple for me. I just want everything I do simple and easy. And I'm sure you want that too. So take this as your sign to check out SeatGeek. Saving money feels good. So if you're like me and love a good deal, download SeatGeek, grab your tickets, use my code WEBER10, you'll save money and you'll thank me later. Thank you so much SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. What's up guys? I am here with Trisha and we will be indulging in mm -hmm. 7-Eleven snacks. I'm so excited. Now I got a DM from you and I was like, oh my gosh. I get DMs from you. It's usually about food. Like if I post like banging buns, like, oh my God, I know that place. Like it's always food related. That's like my <laughs> hyper fixation. Whenever like just tasting yummy foods is such like a mm -hmm. sensory thing for me. I love it too. I love that you're still doing it too because I was saying like people don't mukbang anymore. Really? And I'm excited. I don't really think it's like a thing as much, but I love that you're still going. Oh, I'll never stop. We got so many snacks. Where, so we gotta find our pizzas. straws. He said they were in there, but I'm not sure. so sure he was right. Not in this one. <gasps> you seem like you should have one back here somewhere. You have so much yeah, I should have like an emergency straw. I love the backseat of your car. That's wild. You just have like cans <laughs> and stuff everywhere. You should do a tour of it. Okay, okay. That's wild. <laughs> <Sorry>. Okay, it's <laughs> okay. because like I'd rather have it not be by like the front passenger's like feet, you know? Because I yeah. hate getting in a car. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. We can just drink it. I feel like that's so much work to go drive and get a straw. Okay. <laughs> is it like all ice? <laughs> the flavor is all on the bottom. That's crazy. I mean, I guess the liquid could come out. Let me see. What if like that was his revenge telling us the straws were in there? <laughs> and he literally said it wasn't like, because we said it's there two of everything. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't think there was. But we literally like, oh, are the straws. He's like, yeah, they're in the bag. But I was like, I wasn't really looking, so I didn't know. You know what I mean? I kind of just trusted. I should have, yeah, yeah. I sh I should have looked. Like I always forget to look in my bag at fast food places to make sure everything's correct. Mess I trust it up. everyone. I trust everyone right away. <laughs> That's your problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm so excited. Wow. We should totally do that uh, with with, with our the food. Okay. Oh my gosh. I know. I, I was like, do I film this part? This looks so good. Okay. Yeah. You do the uh ahs. You look so iconic with the filter. And I the know hair. the filter is it, so cool. It pairs so well together. I know I love this filter. It makes me look so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pizza! It oh, looks you, so good. That's such a good idea. Okay. So good, so good. Oh my gosh! Oh, they did. They, we did get everything. Oh, they, look, there's a mix in here. I love that they came through. <laughs> oh my god, that was good. This one's a full okay. production. I know. Now, the big gulp was such a, that's so iconic. <laughs> oh my God, you killed it. That was so good. I've never seen anyone more excited for a TikTok and it makes me so happy because really? I get excited too. Everything I do, like I You're actually excited. have a lot of fun doing. <laughs> me yeah. too. Ooh, that makes it look so good, yeah. Okay, last one, last one. Okay, okay, yeah. is it the ooh ooh? This is insane. <laughs> Wait, we're so good. Yeah. People are going to love this. Okay, that's so cute. I'm so excited. Okay, maybe I should just do one. Yeah, you want to do one too? Yeah, but not the uh-uh, not that one. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm down good. for whatever. Well, or here, let's do, we have to do Johnny's song because I saw Tara do it. I do this ironically, but like it's so It fun. sounds so good. It's so fun. Yeah, you should collab with, do you know, um, Jelly Bean Sweets? 
Yes. Have you ever reached out to her? No, I haven't. Oh. And maybe I should. She, I think she's in LA. No, she's not. She gets so many views and she does those big burritos from Taco Bell. Oh my god, yeah. I would totally do it. This that's the, uh, her vibe. The nacho cheese yeah. burritos. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had one. Oh, they're pretty good. And I know you're picky, oh. but so am I. And now these are. Oh, I'm the least picky person Wait, ever. Wait, really? You might be thinking of John. Oh, maybe. Yeah, because I remember I was like, oh, we have the same taste. Mmm. I'm good. Are you getting into the holiday spirit? Yeah. I told you I have a Christmas song I'm doing. I love Christmas. Have you said it, like, publicly? Mm, I don't know, <laughs> but I can. It's Pink Christmas. Download it. <laughs> is it... Wait, when's it coming out? Is it already out? Thanksgiving. I'm doing the video tomorrow, so... No, and I love that you were out in the holiday spirit. And I love that you're like, I'm celebrating everything every holiday. And I was like, yes, I love it. Me too, I love it. Like, I just love the, the idea that, like, everyone's making an effort mm -hmm, to be jolly. Mm -hmm. That's like... I like that that's, like, the basic <laughs> idea of it. And I support that. Yeah, because everything, like, slows down. And then people just get excited, you know what I mean? It's just, that's why I was like happy to do a Christmas tour, because I was like, I love Christmas music, so I'm like, a tour. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do all my Christmas songs. That Wait, is you're so done? exciting. Oh no, there's um, just a lot to. This is good. This indulge in. The chips are like low-key kind of stale, but I like them. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> Wait, I want you to try my favorite candy bar ever. You said Reese's, and like really, truly, everyone knows like Reese's my favorite. I love Reese's more than anything. I got a few options here. The people that watch me know mm. this is the Reese's Outrageous Bar. It's my favorite candy mm. bar ever. So like the reason why I like it is because it's like okay, I'm I'm a big texture person. A person. I'm a big texter. <laughs> text. I can't, oh, I oh my can't god, speak English me. anymore. I thought it was a vampire, oh, but it's just Carrington. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> Same thing. Okay, I probably can't say who I see, but someone's really cute. I don't know T, who that is, but... T. Wow! Your house is like crazy. It's like real... It's like online in real life. It's so <laughs> crazy. Wow, okay. The reason why I like this <laughs> is because it's like a texture over overload, right? Like, so what like, is it, like nuts and stuff? So it has the peanut butter, it has Reese's Pieces in it, it okay. has caramel, and it has chocolate on the outside. Mm, Do you like all those things? I love everything in there, okay, yeah. Okay. I love how you're like, I never talk about my personal life. I'm like, what do you talk about? You're like, just what I'm eating. And I'm like, I kind of love that you're so good at that. <laughs> like, just describe, like, <laughs> That's all I ever think about it. <laughs> 20 anyways. minutes, you're just like, caramel and chocolate and nuts and that looks good. You want to grab a hat? Oh, okay, I was like, what? How do I do it? Okay, I only wow. got one, Trisha. I gotta take a bite as well. I have to. I didn't know what the plan okay. was. Oh, wait, that looks so good. Okay, yeah, you're showing it. That looks so good. Okay. Mmm. Wait, that's the best. You like it? Oh, I actually like love it. That's crazy, though. There's so much mm. going on in the best mm. way possible. Wow. I think you're the only person in LA who eats junk like this. Really? <laughs> yeah. I was raised on gas stations, so. Mm hmm. We it's, had it in common. To me, this is like a five-star <laughs> restaurant. First of all, that person that walked out, Carrington, is your roommate, but people know that already. Yes. So we had a few extra rooms in the house, and um, what a flex. <laughs> I love that. Well, it's only because we moved. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's just because we moved. Yeah. And I only live with Johnny. It was mm. like after the breakup with Tara, and I was like, I really need to like reach out and make new friends and like build like a really independent life. And mm -hmm. um, every time I saw Carrington, I always had so much fun talking to him. Oh, but wow. I feel like even with making friends, it's like a relationship. Go, like hanging out with him the first time feels like a first date. Yeah. So I'm always like scared of having a new roommate because I've always heard like you should never have your friends be your roommates. Yeah. But like I'm super happy. <laughs> like before Carrington moved in, I was asking his friends i was like is he messy like stuff like oh my that. gosh wow you really were dating <laughs> well, him <laughs> I was, I was, <laughs> well i was scared i was scared because you know when someone moves in you know yeah that's that and you gotta accept it so i just well i guess really... you could ask them to move out <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess but that's, that's like asking to break up <laughs> <laughs> well, you can do that too <laughs> oh my god i'm so excited for the pizza whoa whoa <laughs> that shit's so good mm. this side's like a breadstick Mmm. It's like toast. It's not like frozen, but I love it. I like the burnt <laughs> cheese. I like yeah, I like, I love my mm. food a little burnt. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite pizza? If we're talking fast food, I like Papa John's. But if we're talking more of like a, mm. a niche place, Prince Street. There's a really good place near here. I forget what it's called. Like Joe's Pizza. Have you been there? Yes. Everyone talks about that. Yes. Like, it's the best. I haven't had it though. Yeah. It's I, good? I ha yeah, I like it a lot. It's okay, a this is the cheeseburger dog. Oh, uh, what's this one? There's another one in here I too. was going to ask. Okay. For the ketchup and out. mustard. I they usually, had it in the by the nachos. I know, I didn't get to it. I didn't get to it. But you said this was good, right? I've had it. They say it was good, probably, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I can't remember. Cheeseburger hot dog. Okay. okay I try that. I'm trying the wing. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what? Awful? <laughs> it's just like it's it's like crab cheese. <laughs> like a crab single is like folded in it. Oh, I kinda love for that. <laughs> 
Okay, yeah, I definitely never had that, actually. Wait. Maybe I thought I did, and I definitely didn't. <laughs> it's kind of good. <laughs> I don't know if these it wings feels, are. I'm a boneless guy. Wait, at Wingstop, you get nuggets? Mm-hmm. I'll try this one. I like that it looks burnt. So what have you been up to? <laughs> Do you have any, like, new interests? No. I have a little baby. She's four months old, so I really just kind of hold her all day long, and that's it. <laughs> oh, my God. And it sounds so it sounds so peaceful. Mm -hmm. like, it's like, slows you down. Like, I feel like... I wasn't really like you in my 20s where I partied anyways, but really in 30s, it's like kind of just that's your life you know and it's kind of fun it's kind of nice to just like be isolated i love that camp. that's like me all day like like well i'll go out at night but me all day i'm just like relaxing mm -hmm. wait what flavor is this not burnt it's not burnt is it it's like it's kind of good wait i'm so happy you're eating it wow wait but like okay so i'm a nugget person too you are? But like I can't do it clean to the bone. Like you did it clean to the bone. That's pretty good. It's it's scarier the closer you get. I don't like going to the bone. I know it's like whatever, but I still <laughs> am like okay. I know we're eating an animal. Like you know what I mean. Like I don't want to like no no. That's exactly. That's what it feels like. Could you imagine someone just like eating your flesh to your bone? <laughs> oh my god. I have your merch. You can't see, but I have the jeans. That made my day when I saw. I that. like them. They're pretty comfy. Well, because you usually wear pajama pants a lot, so I was like, okay, these are kind of cute. I got them like a long time ago when they first. That's came what out. I'm saying. I'm mm -hmm. chilling all day. My outfit right now. I was wearing pajamas before I came to film with. You. Oh, really? Oh, this is the outfit right I wore last night. I love that. <laughs> You're like, let me just throw I'm wearing it on. like leather <laughs> pants right now. It like looks like I got all dressed up, but I literally just threw on my no, you exact do. outfit from last night. We were like standing in the 7 Eleven parking lot, <laughs> and Jake's like, Do you want to debrief? I have first of all I had no idea what that meant. I was like, Okay. And then we just like stood out there, and then he's like, So how's it going? I'm like, Is it? <laughs> I don't know, it's good. Like, I didn't know what debriefing was. I didn't want to be like a robot. Like, I was like, hello, and then we <laughs> click record right I away. I feel like that's how it is. It, it's so like that. Yeah, though, which is like fine. It's almost like more awkward to talk about something because I'm like, oh, well, we have to film, so let's like wait. That's talk. fair. I, mm. You've had these, right? Yeah, I love these. Okay. You've had them or no? You just thought they looked good. I've never walked by bugles and thought I should get those. Wait, really? You don't like, like regular bugles? Really? I don't know. I feel like bugles is like, there's just something so uninteresting about <laughs> it. I'm sorry. It felt healthy to me. That's why I used to like bugles, like the original but ones. But the Cinnamon Toast healthy. Crunch. Definitely not. <laughs> cinnamon Toast Crunch blasted mm. with cinnamon dust. And you love cinnamon, you said, right? So Did you ever much. do the cinnamon challenge back in the day? Oh, uh, sure. Or you just take a big scoop of cinnamon and try to swallow it. It's like not possible. You have to like, Wait, it comes I, you out. Have, have you? Yeah, it was like an OG thing. I, I think like I did it a long it. time ago. Yeah, I probably did. With the Sam and Kobe people? Maybe. Do you still talk to them? Yeah. Do you think that you created this new group with like Carrington and stuff like that? So you can like, like just keep going to group to group. You know what I mean? With my first group, I think we all had like 20 friends and everyone just slowly kind of stopped hanging out. Why? I don't know. I feel like it's hard for really big groups to stay together for a long time. Yeah. Did they like get married? Did anyone get married or anything? I'm not sure. I actually met Tara the year that I moved into LA. So like, um. I've been like friends with Tara almost ever since I've been here the whole time and um And how long was it? Probably like maybe six years mm. Like five years five or six years Tara's like a forever friend to me and I feel that with Johnny and Carrington uh -huh. It's really healthy <laughs> You know like I've been in friend groups like where everyone talked negatively about each other behind their backs mm -hmm. And it's like then you like kind of step back and realize that like everyone maybe is talking about you too Yeah Yeah I feel like totally that's definitely the case yeah. You guys don't talk shit about each other? No <gasps> Because like that. because it's a habit yeah. So it's good to break it. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's like fun to do to like have a gossip, but like, yeah, when you find out they talk shit about you, you're like, oh my god. But I always have like, do you ever have that one friend that you like never talk shit about? Mm -hmm. Like that's how I felt too. I was like Shane, and then when I found out he talked shit about me, I was like, wait, but you were the one. Like I know we talk shit about everybody, but I was like, but no, we were, you were like the one person I never talked shit about. And then when you find out they talk shit about you, you're like, damn, I thought I would, we were like the exception to the rule. That's why I trust no one anymore. I totally get that. Yeah. Like well, I mean, like I feel like getting to know Tara like taught me what's like a healthy mm -hmm. relationship with a person, relationship yeah. in general friend yeah. wise relationship wise it made me think about everyone around me and if all the friendships that i had were genuine at all do you think you had any back then everyone kind of just like felt like almost like a school friend to me like no one mm. that i would like hug <laughs> wait really you're such a hugger though i feel like you hug everybody i don't really i mean like like last night johnny and carrington <laughs> Performed. Oh, uh, Carrington performed with Johnny. Oh yeah, he, he he Carrington has one song out and he performed it. Oh really? Oh and my like, god, that's cute. And I was like, like tears were running down my face. I just Aww. like, I really like care about the people that I'm close to, and I never yeah. want to like want to lose that. But like, like I feel like you have to like cycle through a lot of people to find like the good ones. Yeah, I feel like that's the case, and like. 
I guess you're like in your late 20s now, so I feel like that's usually when you like find people. I still haven't found anyone. I'm like 36. I'm late 30s, and I'm still like, mm, I still don't trust anybody. But if you can find people and trust them and they're not talking shit about you, I think that's good. But it will be interesting to see like when someone gets married from the friend group or someone has a baby from the friend group mm. if you guys like stay connected. True, true. I feel like, I don't know, maybe That's it's, like the true test. Yeah, because it is weird like to see YouTubers like younger than me. It's like, I think like Kian and JC, they like have babies and stuff. And I'm like, that's so weird. Like they seem like babies to me, but I'm like, oh my God, wait, everyone's kind of getting older. But you guys mm -hmm. are still like younger than them. So you're like the next generation after to like have kids. Mm -hmm. So like whenever I, so whenever I like I met Johnny or I met Tara or Carrington, it's always been such a one-on-one -on -one thing. So I, that, I feel like yeah. that's what makes our friendships go so deep. Maybe because you're like the group leader this time, so you like hang out one-on-one. -on -one. We, we all try to be so equal. I hit up Johnny and he visited and then we became friends and then, well, Tara, Tara more so found me. At a party you guys met. Yeah, at that time, Aww. like I, I literally had like, I. I was the worst socially at that time. Aww. She had to do all the work. Wow, that's so cute. You guys are still friends. Mm -hmm. I I feel like people are rooting for you guys to like not be friends because I saw her on like Steve-O's podcast. Yeah. And he was very much like, I don't know, I wouldn't say like aggressive is the white room, but like very much like, no, like people should not be like friends. And everyone just was like always like at, at you guys being like, you guys will never like remain friends when someone finds someone else or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you're you're like gonna stand the test. You're like, we're gonna prove him wrong. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean I like just it. like I guess I don't understand their perspective. Like I I, I see a lot of people's perspectives yeah. on it. I guess like I don't understand it because I don't like see it in that way. I know I saw like a TikTok you guys did, and it's like maybe you don't stay friends with your ex because you didn't like who they were. Like when you found yeah. out who they were. Yeah, and then like people <laughs> people would comment down below and be like, "No, my ex was just a shitty person," and I was like, "Okay, well doesn't that like <laughs> doesn't that like agree with me?" <laughs> because I'm saying you didn't actually like them. These are the 7-Eleven brand donuts. I was so okay. excited for these. I don't think I've ever had these. I've had the white powdered sugar ones. Whoa. I thought about getting that, but I love the chocolate ones. I could eat this whole bag. It's mm. so good. Mm -hmm. Those are like my fave fave so far. Do you hang out with like any friends right now? No. <laughs> well, I feel like even if I had friends, I like kind of hang out with them. You know what I mean? But that's yeah. why I like doing the podcast. I like doing this because I feel like it gets my social battery out. You know what I mean? Yeah. But with tour, I have like... I have like six dancers on the tour with me, so they're like my friends right now because we're like rehearsing. So that's like my friends. But other than that, no. I, but I never hung out with friends. It was never my thing. Like friend groups like you, I had friends with, but I would be like filming. It wouldn't be like hanging out. That's you know? That was my whole life before my <laughs> friends that I have right now. Yeah, just like filming. I didn't mind it though. I was like, well, you get work done and you get to socialize. So I didn't yeah, mind it. If we're only filming and we're not hanging out, then... It feels weird. Although that's kind of what we weird. are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's different because it's a collab. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, okay. I, and I also feel <laughs> we're so... We're not like in a friend group. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to be in your friend group. I'm like, how do I get in this? friend group <laughs> no i'm like the worst friend because like i really do like i do get invited to like things and stuff like that i just like you know i like to be invited i don't necessarily i never come so then i kind of feel bad these are the taquitos have you ever had one? Oh my god wait wait this is just like chicken and cheese but do you like chicken and cheese oh you said you're not picky yeah yeah wait is that the cream cheese one which one's it oh cream cheese oh yeah yeah the cream cheese okay the cream cheese one here mm -hmm. we go oh steak and cream cheese chicken oh jalapeno cream cheese something like that wait really it's such a weird combo Mm -hmm. I love a taquito. Oh my god. No, that's mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Flavor like overload. This might be my favorite thing ever. Do you do a mukbang every day? No, you don't do it every day. Once a week. I usually do it every day on my stream channel, but like Halloween's been crazy, so I haven't been keeping up that well. You did so many costumes too. It was hard, but I did. I got to it. You did the saw. Yeah, the jigsaw. Saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did you choose him? Did you look like him? <laughs> Wait, I kind of do. You do. I kind of do. The hair. <laughs> I already have the hair. I just was looking at horror characters and he just looked cool. Like, I still want to look cool. Like, I don't want to actually look like... Scary. You know what? My favorite costumes are, like, really pretty people dressing as something super, super silly. It's actually so true. We were reviewing Halloween costumes on our Patreon and we saw so many of Tara's. But, like, her Bart Simpson one got posted the most. You know what I mean? Yeah. Reese's Pieces. Is big cups. This one's like smushed though. I think someone's sat on it or something. Yeah, this one is too. <laughs> it's better when they're in the fridge. You put your Reese's in the fridge. No, I've never done that. That's a good idea. Oh my god, you never had them cold? Yeah. No, oh my god, wait, mine that. too. Mine's smushed. Did you pass out candy now mm. that you're like residential? No, just because like I was scared like if someone like recognized me and I was at my front door. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that croissant looks so dusty. I only got it because it looks like the moon. It's pretty. <laughs> I'm sure it tastes like it it's might from not be France. bad. <laughs> It'll taste like it's from Paris. I'm sure. Did okay. you vlog it all in Paris? No, I think I did. I did one TikTok. That's cute. Wow. Okay, it looks not bad actually. And yeah, doesn't look bad. Kind of fluffy. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Actually, hmm. you were just in Paris. How does it compare? 
You know what's crazy? I'd never had a croissant there. Uh, <laughs> what did you eat? You had a macaron I saw in front of the Eiffel Tower. Macaron, <laughs> eclair, spaghetti. In France? A lot of sweets. But I never got to the croissants. Because there was That's like things, wild. There was like things that were like <laughs> with chocolate and all this stuff. Like crazy things that I would definitely go to before mm. a piece of bread. I don't know, but bread in France sounds iconic. You want to try it? Um, sure, I'll try it. I do love a croissant. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's kind of hard. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's a little stiff. I've only been once to Paris and I went to Disneyland. It was either going to Eiffel Tower or Disneyland. I was like, I'm gonna go to Disneyland. I didn't get to see the Eiffel Tower. I wish I would have. It was really cool. It's really cool just like looking at it and thinking, oh, someone built this. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, there's these cheesecake bites and they look actually insane. They look like they should be ice cream. They were like, you remember they in the cooler section? They were in the cooler you section. You spotted yeah. these. I was yeah. like, oh, that's not good. Do you like cheesecake in general? Mm hmm. Oh my god. Whoa. Is it frozen or is it just cold? Oh, yeah. It's just cold, but I just don't know bit. what to think. Oh. The, the flavor's kind of strong, <laughs> kind of like a foot taste. Oh, why'd you say it? Sorry, ew. sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad. <laughs> sorry. Um, when you said it, I was like, ew. My bad, my bad. Ew. Have you watched any good movies recently? Mm. Have you seen The Substance? No, everyone talks about that. Wait, really? Maybe I'll watch it before you come on the podcast. What is it about? It's about like being young, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like an old lady who becomes young. Yeah. I kind of love that. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's like you also <laughs> have to pay the costs of how you know how it works wait what do you mean like it's scary it's like a horror movie it's a thriller and it's have you ever seen uncut gems yes <laughs> okay so you know when the feeling when you're watching uncut gems mm -hmm. and you're like no why do you keep making it more stressful and they're like keep making it worse oh, and worse really? and worse you know how, like it's like that for uncut gems like, yeah 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 he keeps like trading things mm -hmm. and, and making things worse it's like that like to stay young you're you're watching it and like the main character is just stressing you out more and more and more and more and more until can you give ends. me a spoiler you can like you can like edit it if you want i want to know oh. i love a spoiler alert. i'll watch it because of a spoiler oh uh, well like the basic idea of it and I don't think it's too much of a spoiler is she takes a substance <laughs> and like a new version of herself spawns oh. and, and she lives in both versions of herself her old version oh. and her young version but she has to like switch back week to week but the problem is is that she uh. always wants to stay in the young yeah. version I would never do anything for that I'd rather just stay young forever and I would do yeah, anything that's like the do not do for the substance the number one rule is like don't yeah don't like overstay in one body so Oh no. It starts to get wonky. That'd be fun. Maybe they could remake it. If I had a young me come out of me, like a spawn, I would have Tar yummy come out of me. And she'd be the young <laughs> version. Just put a blonde wig on her and like that would be the I would trade anything for that if I could have her walk out of me. You or and, zip out. Is they zip You and Tara out? should switch light uh lives for a Oh day. my god, that would actually be so fun. I don't even know what her day's like. I should like figure that out. I don't know. She you guys are both mysterious. Everyone's very mysterious in your friend group because I'm like, what do you guys do all day? I don't know. No one knows. Like yeah. we <laughs> like we film like our content and then we hang out all all day but we never like film it or talk about it yeah that's so weird to me but i love it because i'm like wait what do they do all day we watch a lot of movies i love that yeah. so the substance is the newest one you saw oh and then uh late night with the devil i just saw that one Sounds and that scary. one it freaked me out satanic yeah yeah <gasps> and it really freaked me out and i usually those movies don't freak me out like the conjuring it doesn't scare me because i'm like yeah ghost movie but like this movie is like unsettling like demonic anything demonic do you ever like cleanse yourself after watching it with like an egg or something with an egg yeah have you ever done that no. yeah you cleanse yourself with an egg and rebuke the energy and then you split the egg into a water cup and then all the negative energy like comes down and then you put it under your bed for 24 hours so is that there way, like a yeah. na name for this under your yes. bed for the, for the egg it's, for the egg fairy <laughs> it's like limpia de huevo well it's a thing yeah Whoa, okay okay it's like in mexican huevo. culture oh like like um ranchero yeah huevo ranchero oh yeah <laughs> An omelet. Wait, what's this one? Is this different? I don't know. You don't have to try it, but it's it's the, the chocolate lava big cup. I've just never had it, so okay. I got it. It's not peanut butter though. Oh, or it's is not. it? It's, oh, I, don't I don't know. know. But you can see, do you see that like that mm. that chocolate syrup right there? Mm -hmm. Something's mm. going oh. on. Wait, that's so chocolatey. Oh, instead of the caramel. Mm. It's interesting, but it doesn't taste mm -mm. too different, does it? No, it's very like it's kind of just extra chocolate. Yeah. What do you think about death? Death? Scary. I really? I never think about it. Yeah, it's probably better not to. But when you're talking about the substance, I'm like, there's something peaceful about aging, though. Like, I love, I would love to be young, but then I do think about people being young, and I was like, mm, I kind of don't want to go back to well, that. Well, they say that aging is a privilege. I think so, right? Yeah. The alternative is you're not. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <You> know? <laughs> exactly. A lot of people don't have, a, lo a lot of people don't have the, um, the blessing day. Yeah. When I come on the pod, I I want to I want to dress like you. Okay. I got, <laughs> you gotta find something pink. I gotta make it a mission. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, I could maybe like squeeze it. Like Tara probably has like the perfect outfit. Are you gonna cosplay? I'd have, to, I'd have to squeeze into it. Yeah. I people would gag. <laughs> this is kind of random, but like. <laughs> 
do you do you have like a an outfit that like when people like think of you mm. they think of you in that one outfit right 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 people think i think hmm, that's a good one because people think, dress as me for halloween i think they just wear pink i think that's like so easy if you have like a pink sequence anything like like a tracksuit like a like a like a juicy tracksuit something like juicy tracksuit like velvety but then you might look more like paris hilton or jeffree star because <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have the tattoos i don't know you might want to do like but because you don't want to wear like a dress but yeah you don't want to no i'll do i, I feel like I, if you were in a dress I'll, gag. I'll play the part <gasps> I'll, I, I gotta i'll do it right oh my god i was gonna say i'd let you borrow something but everything you have to like pin it i have a lot of pink but you have to like pin it because you're so tiny and fit <laughs> but maybe i do sometimes i used to buy like outfits way too small for me because i thought oh that's what i'm gonna be i one would just day, so. i would just have to go shopping because wouldn't be able to fit in anything from tara's yes you would i feel like you're you're tiny in a good way no, she, I'll, I'll like I'll like stretch something out. Oh. She'll probably yell at me. Well, you bought, <laughs> just buy her another car or something. <laughs> just, I'll buy you another wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm scared of what you're gonna ask me on the podcast, but like, why? But I'm ready. Well, no, because, because I well I was telling Trisha off camera that like I haven't done a podcast in a long time because like <laughs> I guess I just don't really talk about my life too much. Yeah. But in my brain, I was like, if I go on another podcast, it'll be Trisha. That was so, so literally so nice, and I was just like, because that does mean like a lot, because I feel like then you like trust me, because I really do try to keep everything fun like i think that's like the difference between me now versus like three years ago i think before i'd always want to like dig and like make people uncomfortable and i was like <laughs> i just want to keep it fun and people love you your episode did so well i was so happy you guys came on and so i think people were excited too to have like a solo podcast with just you you know what yeah then you got to do one with johnny too he's busy i, I think i've, I've reached uh, out to him and goose. grace i'm like do you guys want to come on my podcast <laughs> he <laughs> so, is such a busy goose yeah no i'm always down i'm always down for anyone who wants to be on my podcast <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are watching this video first then make sure to check out Trisha's Yay. when I go on the pod. I don't know. Like, wait, wait. When is that me. going up? It'll go up in in a couple weeks. That's yeah. so exciting. Okay. No, you're you're the one male that I like to have on my podcast. Straight male. I'm from a place where masculinity is very valued, mm -hmm. and it was hard to like blend in. I felt very comfortable hanging around girls. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm I feel like I'm pretty girly like myself. Like I don't like hard labor. <laughs> 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 like moving do you watch sports are you a sports person no okay I, I feel like you don't have to think a certain way if you're a girl or a guy yeah you no. know like i feel like i don't know like when it comes to something like spiders like if, <laughs> if, if you if you call it like masculine like the the female spiders like the masculine one it's, Wait, the, really? it's, it's like the bigger one yeah. i feel like that's just kind of like a social thing but like the idea of like what a guy should be i just don't care for that yeah no i agree did you actually ever see speaking of horror films and red hair did you ever see um the seed of chucky yeah wait yeah, with a, the kid, his name's Glenn or something. Glenn, but then she becomes Glenda. Yes. That's kind of what I'm giving right now is like Glenda. Hell yeah. And I, I love, love it so much. Cheetah Chucky. Yeah, it's pretty I, good. I like it because it's like a horror movie, but it's also like... Funny. You're not supposed to take it serious. Yeah. <laughs> they use my song in the latest Chucky Netflix. They use what? I Love You Jesus in there. I thought that was so cool. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Wait, is it the series or is <laughs> yeah. it... Yeah. It would be so cool to be, make a cameo in a movie. Would you? I like... <laughs> I, 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 I'm not like tapped, I feel like I'm not tapped in in like the world like that. I think you could be. I'm just like so not corporate or anything like that. Like, what do you mean corporate? <laughs> Like businessy? <laughs> well, I'm definitely a consumer. Like I'm such a consumer when it comes to snacks. But like, <laughs> but like, but like when You're it comes like... when it comes to like being professional and like being businessy, like I don't like want anything to do with really? that. Really? You don't? Do you have like a manager or agent or anything? I've got a manager for the first time this wow. year, and it's really awesome. And so they help you get things because like you could easily act. Like you just ask them like, oh, I want to act in like a horror movie. That'd be cool. Yeah, I like. I, it takes like a lot of pressure off me. Yeah. But like for like it, that was only up until this year. Before that. You did everything yourself? I, yeah. That's yeah. how I was too. This year is the first time I got an agent. I always did stuff myself. But it's so much nicer to have someone help you do stuff. Yeah, yeah. I just like yeah. don't, I just like, I don't know. I just don't like, I don't like feeling businessy. Yeah, it takes away the fun vibe. And you're such a fun, you and Tara are really just like the same. Basically like, the, at least persona. You guys are very like fun party people. <laughs> yeah. But like, I guess maybe that's how you are in real life. If you're not like a business person, you just like to have fun and have parties. Yeah, yeah. We try to like, I don't know. We try to be like the same on and off camera. And I think you are. You I watch your stuff. Yeah, I watch like your TikToks. And I'm like, oh yeah, I see, and her too. I'm like, okay, I see it. I'm I actually a lot more reserved though. I would say. And her too. Both of you guys are. You guys are like a lot more shy. I feel like when she came on my podcast, she got like backlash because like she was just like a lot more quiet. So people just thought she was being like whatever. But I was like, I think she's just like shy. Like I'll say this. Like people do think that about me too. Like when I'm on other people's things, but it's because mm -hmm. like when it's when it's my video, the person that I'm with, they don't even have to like even speak at all if they didn't want to. Because I know like I'm trying mm -hmm. to. I'm like 
I know, like, I'm in charge of, like, steering the boat. Yeah. So, like, if I go on someone else's thing and I don't really know, like, the direction, yes. maybe, or, like, I want to respect them and make sure mm -hmm. that they're steering the boat, sometimes, like, I'm a lot more quiet and more reserved, more myself, because, like, right now I feel like I'm, like, and I'm, this like... This is your boat. Yeah, this is my <laughs> boat. Yeah. I feel like I have more of, like, an off-camera vibe when I'm on other people's things because I'm not steering the boat like yeah. I used to seeing. Yeah, I think, but I think that's, like, refreshing. I'm the same way. When I go on other people's podcasts, I don't want to be, like crazy but it's like my own I love to ask crazy questions that's why you're like oh ask me questions I'm like okay but like maybe I should say some for my podcast because they're like maybe questions you want to answer could do, you, could do a, you could do a tell all you could do a tell all I, I think that we ate all that we could eat and we, we told all that we could tell before the podcast yeah 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 thanks for coming on mine I'm so excited all Bye. right guys make sure you subscribe to Trisha and if you're watching this first then check me out on the pod yay bye guys Emos are corrupting our kids with their sad songs and demonic rituals. Moms Against Emos is the movement for you. Join it by getting the Moms Against Emos official shirt. Let's stop the emo virus together at jakemerch.com.